Hello my YouTube friends, my name is SimaStorm. Thanks for checking out this Crash Bandicoot video. I'm going to show you how to obtain the green gem in the Lost City. This mission is on the second island in the first game of Crash Bandicoot and it requires a lot of patience, let me tell you that right now. Starting off here at the beginning, you actually have to jump behind the metal wall and you got to time it just right, otherwise you're going to jump off the edge and die. If you do die, you can just restart and try again. You're going to continue forward and this first part is fairly straightforward, so I'm going to take this opportunity to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'm getting back into this whole YouTube thing, but your support means a lot to me. There aren't any hidden boxes back in that little alcove there. Just progress forward through that column pushing out. You're going to want to make sure you go quickly on those platforms that jiggle up and down just a bit. Once you jump on them, they will disappear. That box kind of hard to see right there. It has that cocoa icon just to the right, so make sure you hit that. And take out these bats if you so desire. There is one more hidden box. It is impossible to locate here, but when you're jumping on top of that box there, you have to jump up, press and hold A or X, and you will hit an exclamation point box to make appear several other boxes, including this one here. You gotta jump that to get the doctor icon there. And we're gonna continue forward here. No problem so far at all. Again, you wanna make sure you get the character icons because those are required to find all the boxes in the little special mission areas. Again, fairly ho-hum here. It is a nice little lull here. There is a one-up life you can grab there. Not a requirement though. As we're moving forward here, there are a couple of bats here in addition to the crawly lizard things. And again, if you die, you either have to start over at the very beginning or just quit out and restart. So it's really a bummer, but that's why you want to make sure you take it slow. Again, you are rewarded for being patient in this game. You are punished if you try to rush through things very quickly. Here is another checkpoint. This is another very important part. You have to jump and kill that lizard and use the bounce that he boosts you with to jump up to the top to grab that doctor icon. So let him jump back to that column and that's when you hop on his head and grab the icon. You can also grab the one up icon if you so desire. I promise I'm not here to bore you to death in this video, so because of that, I skipped over one question mark box. It's in the middle of this jumping period. I had some trouble with this red guy here, so you're either going to want to jump on his head or just run around him completely because he will push you off the edge, and he did that to me about five times. So you're going to want to go around the corner here and hit these boxes. You get the third doctor icon, and that allows you to access the first special area. So, like I did there, just jump on that dude's head and kill him, and then we're gonna go into the extra mission. If there's any bit of good news with these missions, it's that if you die in these special areas, it does not count against you. If you do have an Aku, the, uh, the shield, you will lose that when you die. So, it's very important that you take care of your shield and your masks. Uh, so that you actually can use those. As you can see, I, I failed this one time here, so we're going to try it again. You're going to want to bounce on the TNT boxes and spin the boxes that are at the top of each of them. Then hit these one-up lives here. We're going to hit some more TNT boxes, and you want to make sure you hit that top left box in that group. Continue on bouncing on the one-up lives and then you are done. Again, if you die in the middle of it, it's just fine. I showed you the example earlier of me actually going down to give you just that. So these platforms are a little tricky. You want to get to the middle as fast as you can. There are five different rectangles, and once you step on the right one, it's going to pull you down to the right. So you want to keep moving as fast as possible. This red guy, once you jump on the pillar there, he is going to jump toward you. So I suggest you jump on the pillar and jump right back and then just knock him on the head and he is out of your way. We have a couple more bat areas here. I think I go ahead and take out all of the bats so they just don't bother me at all. This one I probably just run past. You have the shifting platform there. You want to time it just right so that you can run on that while the bats are not flying over you. 
Then you have these columns that push out. Just make sure you time it right. I waited for these three whenever they all come out and go in. That's when I ran forward. I kind of got nervous there because I wasn't sure if that was my time, but sure enough, it is. There are a few periods during this that you can go ahead and venture through. And then these two, fairly straightforward, just wait for the one closest to you to move through. You need this lizard to hit that box way up there at the top, wait for him to come back to the middle, and bang, you're one box closer. We're gonna jump onto this column here, knock that question mark box, and then we have some more bats. This time, we have a couple of lizards in the same bats area, so just wait for the bats to fly through, and then jump down and take out the lizard. Again, if you try to jump on that platform while the bats are flying, they will kill you or they will take away your shield mask. So, this is the last Coco box. You grab that one there and then hop in the extra level and the same applies. This one is pretty tricky too. You gotta hit all the boxes, but again, you basically get unlimited tries here. So, this first one I am going to fail miserably and uh, once we progress here a little bit farther, I'm gonna give you a tip and trick here because there are a lot of these jumpy boxes and if you don't time it right, then you're gonna do that. You're going to run out of jumps in the boxes that take five hits to get all the fruit out of them. So, here we go. I'm going to walk you through how you can actually get this. And I suggest, after breaking these boxes at the beginning, jump up and then spin yourself up to the top boxes. Because those will take out some of the top boxes and not let you start bouncing. So, this is a good opportunity to kind of clear out some of these that are toward the back that don't have boxes on top of them. So, let's hit those, then spin jump. I'm gonna jump out to the side here, hit some more, but like that time, I kept going. So, by the time you get down to the last few, make sure you're giving yourself time on your jumps so you know when they're going to disappear. Then just hit the last few boxes, grab the extra lives, and then you are golden. 33 boxes and over 100 pieces of fruit there for your taking. One more extra platform here, a couple more. We're going to jump to the middle and then jump very quickly on. I almost didn't make that jump. You're going to want to make sure you time these just right. When you're in the middle, hop to the left and then don't move right there. That lizard is not going to touch you. He's going to jump into the middle, then wait for him to get back to the middle, and that's when you can knock him on the head. Same story here, just advance forward, and when you get close enough to the opposite ledge, that lizard will jump, but you need him to hit that exclamation point box, and there it is, the green gem. So again, it takes some patience. If you go through it slow, you will have no problem at all getting the green gem. There are many other harder gems to find, which I will be making walkthrough videos too to help you. Again, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you made it here all the way to the end, please subscribe for more Crash Bandicoot content to come. Leave a like, comment as well, and uh, we will see you next time. Simastorm saying so long.